Good evening, everyone. Hi there. I am Melissa the Stamp Doc, and tonight I am going to be sharing with you the Trucking Along Stamp Camp. I've already sent this to my customers, um, but I do have one kit left. So the description is in the, um, or the link is in the description. So if you want that, it's first come, first serve. Once that link isn't working anymore, that is, they're all gone. So um, some of these items sold out and they're not available anymore. So as you come online, feel free to say hello. Let me know where you're from. Or if you're watching on the replay, just put replay in the comments. I'd like to see when people are actually watching. This is my first time using a new program to stream, and I'm streaming both on YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. We're going to see how this works. I'm hoping that it'll work well. Um, but yeah, if you're having any trouble at all, please leave me a comment, and that way I can see what's going on. So I want to just jump right into it. Again, this what I'm demonstrating tonight are four cards that were included in the Trucking Along Stamp Camp. And this stamp camp, there's four different designs, but you make two of each. So the way my stamp camps come is you're going to get a packet with your pre-cut cardstock, and everything is divided up. And you'll just take each one out of the packet. There's extra cardstock for um, stamping, but each one is divided up, and you'll be ready to stamp those. So you'll see as I pull those out. It also came with a full package of the gift card envelopes, as well as a full spool of the gingham ribbon, and a full package of the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. And this is absolutely gorgeous paper. It has already sold out from Stampin' Up! So this is the only way that you can get it. So I'm going to set these aside. And the, um, this is all using the Trucking Along Stamp Set and Punch, the bundle. So I do have the bundle linked below. And if you do purchase the bundle, I will send you this PDF tutorial for free. If you've already got the PDF tutorial, you can purchase the PDF tutorial in my, um, on my blog. It's $15 and I do have it linked below. It includes all the measurements, all the supplies, as well as your instructions. So let's take a look at the cards we're making. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down just a little bit so you can see that a little bigger. And let me just get in there and hide that banner because you all knew, know who I am now. All right, so the first one is this one right here. All of these have fun folds to them. So this one opens up like this and you have your little place for your gift card and a place for your message there. Our next one, I've already tied it up with some ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and untie that so you can see how it works. And it just opens just like this and there's a place for your gift card right there. And our next one here opens up here, and there's a little pocket for your gift card there. And then finally we have this one here, and it opens up like this, and there's this little flap here for your gift card. Okay, so let's get started making our cards. Let me grab my supplies here. And we do need to do some stamping, so I'm going to show you how that stamp set works. And let me grab that. Again, this will be a little bit longer video just because we're going to be doing everything start to finish. I am going to use my um, Stamparatus simply because this is much easier <laughs> with the Stamparatus. So when you're doing something along these lines that has to be lined up perfectly. That's what you want to do. So I'm going to start with the little truck here. I'm going to put it right here at the corner. I'm going to close that up. 
and I'm going to stamp that in black. stamp that down and what I like about the Stamparatus is if I don't get that just perfectly I can always stamp that again. And I'm just going to set that aside because we will use it again and then the next thing I'm going to do is the little wheels. I'm going to line those up on there and Just try to make sure that's perfect there. And again, we're just going to ink that up. Hopefully, didn't make too much of a mess there. Hope I don't have to redo that. Need to grab my chamois here. I'll just clean that up real quick. And if you don't have a Stampin' chamois, those are a great little tool to have. Set that aside, and then we're going to stamp our truck in real red. So if you don't like to color, this is a great stamp set that just allows you to do two-step stamping with all of your stamps. I'll line that up. We're going to go on and do that with the red. The other thing I really love about the stamp red is, is I can make that a lot darker. I can get a really deep red on that. I'm very sad that it is no longer available, but there's very similar tools um, with Misty, and I believe Tim Holtz also has his own stamping tool. So if you want something like that, you could definitely pick up something else. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. Again, just and keep all that ink off of there. And then we are also going to need a little tree image as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that while we're here. And let me find that. And again, it's a two-step stamping. So I'm going to put the little tree right here. I'm going to pick that up. Let's get that lined up back there again. We're going to do that with the black ink first. And then I'm going to line up the other part of that. And we'll use this little Christmas tree on one other one. But if you live in like a warmer place, there's also a palm tree. There's also another like kind of a full looking almost fall tree. So you could definitely use this for other occasions throughout the year. Get that inked up. I'm using shaded spruce for that. And we're just going to fussy cut that one out when it's done. Got a little ink on my finger. I guess that means I did something right then. Okay. So I'm going to set my Stamparatus aside. We'll come back to that in a bit. And I'm going to use my punch to punch out the tree, or the, the little truck. And if you turn your punch upside down, you can really see exactly where that goes. Line it up, just like so, and punch that out. And if you don't want to do any stamping, you can still do the truck even with, oops, <laughs> my little light fell over. Let me grab that. You guys are going to probably want to see, have a little light on the subject here, right? Okay, there we go. It wouldn't be one of my Facebook Lives if I didn't have some sort of problem. So I've already fussy cut one of these out, so I'm not going to do this one. And we're just going to put the rest of this all together. So I think for this one, I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm going to start with just putting this pattern paper on a base of the shaded spruce. And really, I do love this paper. I'm kind of sad it went away. 
And then this piece right here, we're going to accordion fold it. And it looks like it was a little off there, which that's going to be okay. We'll do it this way. We'll do it just like this. All right. And I'm going to start, I actually want to put the greeting down at the very bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put it right here. You really don't have to worry about where it goes. And I'm going to line my greeting up down here at the bottom. I want that right there. I'm going to come over the top there. Are wishing you a festive Christmas right there so again if you're watching you know say hello tell me where you're from love to see who's watching and from where and also see who's watching on Facebook and who's watching on um, YouTube like I said this is kind of a big experiment today Go ahead and put this right across this middle section here. Let me move it just a little bit there. There we go. And then I'm going to put a piece of vellum on here. And I'm just going to put the vellum. I'm putting adhesive right there. Um, I don't want it to show through. And I'm going to be able to put my little truck there. So we're going to put him right like that, and I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. Let me find those. All right, so we'll get a couple of dimensionals to put that on the truck. Just like this. And I'm going to take the tree, put a little adhesive on that. Doesn't need a whole lot. And we're gonna put that in the back of the truck. So he's off to get his Christmas tree. Just like so. And then I want to go ahead and just put a little bit of decorative paper on here. It doesn't need much, but I just want it to kind of dress up that envelope a little bit. there. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the back there. That will hold that into place. Now on my original sample I actually just put this down with adhesive but on this one I'm going to go ahead and do it with dimensionals instead and I'll show you why. I'm going to go ahead and put four dimensionals on there. And because you got the ribbon in your kits, I'm going to take some of that ribbon and fix it so that our card will stay closed. So I'm just going to put that, hold it in place there, pull off these dimensionals, and then hold that in place and put it right there. And then that way, when this closes or when this opens up like this, I'm going to just tie this closed so that someone actually gets to open it almost like a little gift. Just trim that up a little bit. But that ribbon can really dress these up for you. So there we go. Got a cute little gift card holder all ready to go. Okay. All right, we are ready to move on to card number two. And got all my pieces here. This one has a lot of stamping to it. So 
we're basically creating a little scene with our stamping on this one. But it also shows just some of the cute things you can do with the little truck. So we're going to start with our truck. We're going to put him right there in the middle. And again, we're building a little scene with this one. So we're going to do that one in black. And you don't have to do your outlines in black, but I just, I kind of think it gives a little more detail to it. So I'm using the black memento ink. Just going to ink that up. And I really don't have to do that a second time. Um, I want to do my little um, wheels again, so those will be in black also. And on those I found it was just really kind of easy to get that center lined up and then you can kind of wiggle the rest of it in place. All right, and then I have a little rail, um, you know, like some of those old trucks that have like the, the lit all of these look like little farm trucks, but this one has just the little rails that go up there. And we're gonna put those there. Both of those are going to get stamped in black again. Okay. Take those off. And then I have our greeting again. We're going to do it in red this time to add a little color. Just says wishing you a festive Christmas. I'll go ahead and clean those up a little. There we go. So we'll come back to that one again. And this truck I'm going to color as green. So kind of like an olive green is what we're gonna do. We're using old olive for it. So again, I'm going to line that up. There we go. And if it looks kind of rustic, that's fine. That's kind of what this truck's supposed to look like. A little more of that rustic look. And I'm probably going to do just a light little bit more. There we go. And then for those rails, I want to do those in pecan pie. Yeah, let me see the little rail. Gonna... I did my other one where it was up a little better, but this one's not too bad. Okay. There we go. This one I'm actually going to stamp it off first. So I'm going to use that scrap piece of paper. And that just makes our rails look a little bit lighter. And then we're going to do a few clouds. And all of these stamps, like every single stamp that I'm using here, all of these are in that trucking along stamp set. So um, all the greetings, everything we're doing, all of those are included. I'm going to do a couple of clouds across the top. And we're just building a little cute scene for this. And then I want to use balmy blue ink for the inside of the cloud. I'm going to stamp off on that first. I'm going to line that up. And there we go. So I'll pull that up so you can see a little closer how it looks. Oop, there we go. We got a good view of that. And like I 
said, we're just creating a little scene on that. Let me get this out of the way and bring my papers in. So this is a trifold card. So there's three little fold lines on there. And again, you can, if you um, bought one of my kits, you can easily um, switch out the paper. So if there's a pattern that you like better than this one, get wild, use a different pattern. Um, you do not have to do yours exactly like mine. I gave you all coordinating cardstock so everything will match. And like I said, you can kind of do whatever with that that you want. I'm going to put this little musical note paper on the smaller panels. And again, if you wanted to reverse those, you could use the other side on all of that if you wanted to. All of that right there and then I am going to take my multi-purpose glue Oops, I got a sticky little booger on my, on my hand it's just one of the bad things that happens with glue I'm just gonna glue all there and what I'm gonna do is just put this piece of paper on that We'll set that aside while we do a few other things. But I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to cut that down. All right. So this one I want to just put here in the middle. This is where your greeting or whatever you wanted to write on the inside of your card is going to go. And so we're just going to put that right there in the center. I eyeball it. If you want to mark it, you could definitely do that. No shame in that either. Okay. And then we're going to take that little piece that we just stamped and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this side only. So I'm going to put just one and two here. Oh, I did that wrong. Let's peel that off. Okay, now I've got it work up. So it's on this side like that. We're going to close this shut and we're going to line up this side with that inside square and then we're going to adhere it down over here and that gives you that open like so. Let me find my paper snips <laughs> and we're ready to trim the little flap off of this. And this is a great way just to decorate your envelope. Um, it's nothing fancy, we're just trimming that paper down so that that flap looks a little different. Okay. So now I have a little decorated flap on my envelope. I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on the back here. Put a lot on there because if they're opening and closing that, maybe use that one. We're just going to put that on that inside flap there. We want to, we can even tuck that in. There's a little thing there. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And the reason I put that one up on dimensionals is again, I can put some ribbon through there. So when I created all of these cards, when I first designed them, this ribbon or the ribbon I wanted to use was out of stock. So that's why they weren't photographed that way. But I wanted to show you how you could use that. Actually, I used some red ribbon, I think, on my sample. I think I pulled a little too much off here, but that's okay. I'm going to tie that on, but that just holds that closed. Because a lot of times when I give gift cards, I don't necessarily put them in envelopes either. So I'm just going to hold that there. I'm going to turn it just a little bit, I think. I'm going to turn it like that. And we'll trim up the ends. There we go. And there is our 
next little card. I think that ribbon just really adds a nice little something extra on those. All right. We are halfway done, so we've got two more cards to go. Let me get my stamped piece out of the way. All right, so for this one, we're going to need some scrap paper. And I just, when I cut things like this, I just use like all my scraps. So I'm just going to use that same scrap we had earlier. And we are going to do a little blue truck this time. So I'm going to put my truck on there and same thing that we've done before. This one I think is my favorite actually. It's really cute. So I'm going to ink that up. That's first and then of course we have our wheels. We definitely want our wheels. And just a little hint, if you mess those up, they don't uh, line up perfectly, you can always go back with a marker and clean it up. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put that away. And we are ready for the truck truck. Let's see where he went. <laughs> Sometimes when we do these uh, lives, it looks like chaos over here at the side. I don't know if somebody has a really great way of keeping their workspace neat when they do these live. I'd love to hear it. Generally, it takes me quite a while to clean up after one of these. I grab a breath and I'm like, ugh. All right, so I am using Balmy Blue. Oh, I kind of like this. It had a little of the green left on it, but I kind of like the way it looks. It looks kind of rustic even more so there. I'll have to clean that better for the next one because next time we have another red truck. I'm just going to leave it because I actually like the way that looks. And then there's this cute little teeny tiny stamp that says Farm Fresh. And I'm going to put it right there on the door so that it really looks like a little Farm Fresh truck. Look how cute this is. Is that not adorable? All right. So we're going to punch him out. And this is another one where we're going to build a little bit of a scene. Yikes. That was kind of loud, wasn't it? So we are going to grab this little here. And again, remember how I said like all of these things have, you know, every all these little pieces, they're all included in the stamp set. So there's so much cute stuff you can play with. There's even ones that you could do like with a spring truck. So super fun. Alright, so I've got my little truck here and now I want to do some little gifts in the back of his truck. So I'm just going to put my truck where I want it. And then I'm going to set my stamp there with the gifts. That looks good. And we're going to stamp those. And this is also a little two-step stamping, so you don't even have to color this either. So we're going to stamp it once with the black. And then there's an inside part. And I'm going to have to jump over this to line it up good. That stamps some of these other pieces. We're going to do that. We're going to get our firm brush off of there um, in red. Got to use our red for Christmas. But you could color you could color those gifts in with markers if you wanted to do that instead, if you wanted to add a little different colors to it. And then I also wanted it to look like it was on the road. So let me clean this real quick because I got a little messy, a little crazy there. I'm going to put my truck back so I can see where it goes. And again, 
there's this little bit of road there. <laughs> We're just going to use that. And I'm going to use pecan pie for that. So I really only, other than the black, I only used five colors um, on all the projects. So there's not very many. You wouldn't have to have very many to do this with. So we got a little road there now. Peel that off. And then we can take our truck and we're going to pop it up with some dimensionals. little scene is complete. Um, all of the dies that I'm using, so the square, um, the circles that you'll see on another card, I, I only used one die set. I like to try to do, you know, just very basic things. So the die that I used is called Stylish Shapes. And the reason why I like this one is it's got so many different things that you can definitely use. We can all use banners. Um, it's got the graduated squares and the graduated circles. And then they've also got this little stitching around them too. So it's just a very great versatile die set. So if you're looking for one that's a great starter one, definitely recommend the stylish shapes. All right, so on this piece, This little old olive piece is actually our gift card holder part, and I need my tear and tape. Let me grab that. When you need really strong adhesive, this is what you want to use. So I'm going to put a little bit here on the small flap and a little bit over here. You can use other adhesives, that's okay, but I wanted a really strong hold with this. And normally I would use my take your pick tool to peel this off, but I was scrambling around before the video and could not find my take your pick tool anywhere. Let's get that off there. There we go. Alright, and what this does is this creates a little pocket for our gift card to go in. And I've got a small piece of white here. I'm going to put it on the inside. Again, this would be where our message to whoever's receiving this would get. There we go. Just leave a little border around that. And since I don't have a gift card right now, I'm just going to take one of the gift card envelopes and put it in there as a placeholder so you can see that. And then we're going to put this on the outside. And again, this is that Joy of Christmas paper. Not available anymore. They sold out of it. It is, it is gorgeous, and so there's a good reason why it sold out. Put that on there. And then I've got a little strip to go on the inside here. So you could use either, either color you want it. We just want to decorate that flap. There we go. Alright. And then this is just thick, basic white cardstock. Um, so it is our card base. I'm going to put this red right here. And I'm just going to line it up right against that edge there. And with this, again, I am going to use my ribbon because I didn't have it the first time. So I've got a piece here. I'm going to put this part of the card on the front with dimensionals. Let me lay my ribbon down so that I'll be able to Close that up. There we go. All right. And then I have this gold glimmer banner, and I wanted it to go behind this piece. 
but if you look, it's just barely enough to show on both ends. So to get that to show on both ends, I'm just going to cut that in half. And this is adhesive, so I'm going to put just a little dab on each corner of this. And I'm going to just stick that little banner out from each side. It really, it doesn't like to hit on the, uh, on glitter. A lot of times you'll find you have trouble getting that to stick. But we're going to make it sticky one way or the other. There we go. We're just trying to attack it there in place. But that paper is in the online exclusives. If you like glitter paper, um, that's really very cool. So I'm going to throw some dimensionals on the back of this too. If you're going to mail these, don't put as many dimensionals on it. Just kind of limit those a little bit more. And what's going to happen when I lay that down are those glimmer pieces are probably going to stick down onto the cardstock, but they'll be lined up in the proper spot. So, yeah, I just want that in a little while. Well, I'm going to have to just stick it in differently, I think. Alright, so we're just going to put that there, and that there. We got those on there. And then again, you could just do your ribbon down here at the bottom or at the top, either one. over the top of this because it's just really holding that closed. And then I try go ahead and trim that off. There we go. Very cute, right? So again, if you want to make these cards, um, again, like I said, the paper is sold out. But you could easily substitute any other paper. I don't want you to feel challenged that um, this paper is not available. Just switch it out with something else. Um, that's, you know, once you have the design, you can just switch that up with whatever you have on hand. All right, we have one last card to do. And this one I'm not going to stamp for you because we've already done the stamping. You've already seen how that gets lined up. This one's pretty easy. It's just the little red truck and the little tree. Um, so I'll skip the stamping on that. And this one's a little more involved. So there's a lot of score lines on here. I'm going to go ahead and start with the middle one. And then I'm going to just accordion fold from there. Again, there's some on both sides, so we're going to do that. So what this ends up looking like is just like so. There, I'm going to put it just like that so you can see. All right, and what we're going to do, we're going to close up this on the outside first. So we're going to use our tear and tape adhesive because, again, we want a really strong fold on this. But we're going to close up that accordion. Peel those off. Like that. And then we're going to pinch all of that together. So it almost looks like a book binding. Just really kind of hold that together. I'm hoping you can see that pretty well. It looks like my light's layering on there. Okay, and then on the inside you're going to have this little piece that looks like this. So we're going to go ahead and put a piece of that tear and tape down there in the middle. All right, and on this one I'm going to take my little envelope, my little um, gift card envelope, and I'm going to put that piece here. I think this is my shorter one that I cut. I think if you got one of your kits, they'll be longer, but 
it's spreading a little on this paper, so it's not going to really show. Okay, so I've got just like that. I'm going to stick that inside there, like that. I'm going to put a little bit of that tear and tape on this part so it holds that down. And then we're going to peel it, make it all closed up. Okay. And then all of that is nice and sealed up, and we've got our little pop up there. All right. Then I have my papers. So we have two that are identical. I'm going to put one on the inside and one on the outside. Same place. So we're going to put this one right up next to that crease, like that. And then we're going to put this one right here. Now, if, if you like classes to go like this and are interested in this, make sure you're subscribing to my email newsletters. They always get first pick at all of these. All right, on the inside, I'm going to put this little piece here. Um, I did do one that I had stamped. Mm, I'm not going to stamp this one. I'm going to leave it blank. I'll show you my original sample, but I did some additional trucks and some um, in the greeting on there. But I'm going to leave this one blank just for the person I'm giving it to. And then this piece, I'm going to layer it onto the white. I'm going to do my ribbon a little differently here, I think. I want to do it along the side, so let me find the ribbon. I'm telling you, you throw everything everywhere when you do these uh, lives. It's sometimes, uh, hmm, you get to see the confused look. Oh, here it is. It's right underneath what I needed over there. All right. So I'm going to show you a little trick. If I'm going to tie a bow, I measure four times the length of my card. But if I'm going to tie a knot, I do three times the length. So I'm going to do three times on that one. And that allows me not to have to waste any more than I need to. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie this in a knot up here at the top. And I've got so many other little pieces here. I could actually do like a little fringe with several of those. And I'm going to do some dimensionals with this piece. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments. I will go back through those afterwards and take a look. Let's scooch that over just a bit so that I can put this there. It's just kind of peeking over the top there. And then we're going to put our little special delivery. And can't you think of all the cute things you could do with the stamp set? It is just adorable. This one, it was really popular. They released it as an online exclusive late summer, and it took like two months for it to get back in stock. And it hasn't sold out yet, but if it's something you're interested in, you might want to grab it, because once those online exclusives are gone for good, you can't get those anymore. So there is that one. Let me grab the one that I had already done. And that's without the ribbon and then you can see on the inside I did some light stamping trucks there and the little wishing you a festive Christmas so um, again you can dress these up however you like I really do like them with the gingham ribbon I think that just adds a nice touch to them so let's take a look at our cards one last time 
there's those two. And then we have our other two. Let me bring them in. They're right there. There we go. And all right. So after you get done making all of these, you're ready to buy some gift cards and get to gift giving. So I hope you've enjoyed all of these projects. Again, I've left a lot of information in the description. So if you um, need more information, you can find that there. And um, I really appreciate you watching tonight. Thank you so much and have a wonderful holiday.